What's the difference between beside and besides? Hung and hanged. Fictional and fictitious. Climatic and climactic. Do you know that if you misspell the word pixelated in a certain way, it means crazy? All this and more coming up. Do keep watching. But first, if you're new here, please like, follow, subscribe to The English Nut on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Thank you. Beside without an S at the end means next to. Besides with an S at the end means in addition to. Here are a few examples of sentences containing the word beside. The host's beautiful daughter sat beside him at dinner. They found him asleep in the tent, his backpack beside him. There's a magnolia tree beside the fountain. Here are sentences containing the word besides. It's your duty to attend the reception. Besides, it'll be fun. Besides the usual night sounds, there was the growling of a dog. Nobody besides her grandfather remembers that story. That's beside the point, is an idiom that refers to something that's not relevant to the point being discussed. You can visualize it as a point that is not the relevant one, but a random one next to it. Here's a sentence containing the idiom. He was sacked for stealing. He was good at his work, but that's beside the point. People often say that's besides the point, which is incorrect. Don't say it. Both fictional and fictitious refer to something that's imaginary or fabricated. The word fictional is used when talking about characters or stories made up in literature and other works of imaginative art. Just as we call certain books works of fiction to differentiate them from biographies or other types of non-fiction based on facts or real events. Here's how you would use fictional in a sentence. Sherlock Holmes, David Copperfield and Pinocchio are famous fictional characters. Here's another example. Hogwarts, the school described in the Harry Potter books, is fictional. Fictitious refers to something fake. It has a whiff of trickery to it. For example, a criminal could open a bank account under a fictitious name. Here are a couple of examples of the word in sentences. She used a fictitious illness to bunk school. The actor gave a fictitious date of birth to his fans. Climatic and climactic. The latter has a hard C sound before the T. Climactic. The former does not. Climatic. Climatic is an adjective that refers to the climate. Here's how you use it in a sentence. Climatic disasters are taking place around the world as a result of global warming. There are significant climatic differences between Japan and Germany. Climactic refers to a climax. It could be the climax of a book, film, story or anything else. Here are a couple of sentences containing the word. The climactic scene of the play held the audience spellbound. Stirring music accentuated the climactic moments of the movie. Hanged is the past tense of hang. Hung is also the past tense of hang. So what's the difference? A big one actually. You use hanged only in the context of death by hanging. When someone, usually a criminal, is executed by hanging. A noose suspended from above is tied around his neck and the support beneath his feet is removed. The noose tightens and the person chokes to death. Gruesome. Here's how you could use hanged in a sentence. The prisoner was hanged at dawn. Here's another example. They hanged the murderer in the city square to serve as a warning to anyone contemplating a similar crime. Here's how you would use hung. Her father's portrait hung on the wall. He hung his clothes neatly using the hangers provided by the hotel. As you can see, hung is not at all gruesome. A person can be hung too, if he or she decides to swing from tree to tree on jungle vines, for example. Check out the following sentence. Tarzan yodeled with joy as he hung from a jungle vine. There are a couple of phrasal verbs which contain hang. You might get confused about how to use them in the past tense. The first one is hang up. It means to be overly concerned about something. I'm not hung up on these rituals. We can just go for a registered marriage. The other one is hang out. It means to casually socialize with friends. The three of them hung out at the park 
after the cricket match. Based on the rule about hanged being used only in the context of death by hanging, you would never say hanged up or hanged out. In summary, use hung as the past tense of hang in all cases that do not involve capital punishment. Pixelated is a word we use often these days. It's derived from the word pixel, which is a blend of the words picture and element. It means the smallest unit of a picture on a computer or TV screen. It's usually a dot or a square. A pixelated image is one that has been blown up to such a large size that the pixels are visible and the bigger picture can no longer be made sense of. Here's the thing. We often misspell pixelated as pixelated. However, we don't get a red underline for this misspelling because pixelated is also a valid word. It's derived from the word pixie, which means elf or fairy. Pixelated means confused and crazy. It can also mean whimsical or even drunk. It's as if the pixies have got to the person, making him or her behave in a strange fashion. And I suppose that if you were pixelated, you could even see the normal image on your screen as pixelated. Here's how you could use pixelated in a sentence. The low resolution image got pixelated even when it was expanded just a bit. And here's how you could use pixelated in a sentence. Falling in love made him pixelated. Note that pixelated is not commonly used anymore. I have brought it up merely to point out that we often misspell pixelated as pixelated. To get it right, just remember that pixelated is derived from pixel and therefore the second vowel in the word is an E and not an I. I hope that after watching this video, you won't mix up these pairs of words anymore. What are some of the other words that you mix up? Do let me know in the comments below. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now.